Hey everybody, welcome to Tarot Nat Plans here on TarotTube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So, I know I haven't been on very much lately, but let's restart this channel. So, today is February 1st, so let's do a de uh, Dex on my desk. Alright, because I don't, or I think I did do one for January, but it was very, very late. So let's do the one for February. All right, let's get into it. So first off, let's go through the decks I had out and see what I used and what I didn't. So first things first is I pulled this, pulled out this bear tarot that I had, which I love, but I didn't get around to using it. And I will explain why in a second, but I do love it and I really do enjoy this matte cardstock and it was one that didn't pass quality control so it came in a little white box so i don't even remember the name of the deck i'd have to go through my emails because that's how much i don't remember because i got it so long ago but i do love it as my teddy bear tarot i know there's another one that i'm assuming is the same creator but maybe not that was a little bit more like fuzzy teddy bear feels and a lot of people tag me in that one um but this was definitely more my vibe, a little bit more vibrant. Why do I have reversals? I don't read reversals. This is weird. But yeah, so I didn't get around to using it. So hopefully I will in the future. But let's put things back where they belong. This is the cute Peggy bag that I have for this deck that I absolutely think is a perfect match. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. I ordered this bag not even knowing what I was putting into it. And then when I got this deck, I was like, oh, perfect. So we have that. Next up, we have, I pulled out my Sasserai Beetle or my Sassy Burrito. This is the full size matte edition. And I didn't get to using it at all. And I will explain why in a little bit. But yeah, I love my Sasser Ibido. I just, I didn't do a whole lot of tarot this month that wasn't my daily draw or my weekly. I didn't really do much extra other than, oh, I did my full moon and my new moon. But other than that, I didn't do a lot. So I didn't get to using all these other decks. And then next up, we have the Northern Animal Tarot, which we all know and love in the third edition in the linen. Now, this is the Muddy Edition. I think that's, or the dark edition that she had. It was like a misprint on her website. I do have like the regular one that's linen in third edition. And then I got this muddier one, which I thought would be really nice for like fall and winter. Um, but like, again, I didn't get to it for another reason, which we'll get to shortly of the deck that I did use. And then last, but definitely not least is my wednesday's child which i love and is going with way more decks than i ever thought they would or it would um i just didn't need it for the deck that i mainly use but i do love it so let's put that back as well it is a really great deck, and it does go with so many decks. Like, I almost passed this up, and I'm so glad that I didn't. I'll fix that later. So, the deck that I used pretty much for everything except maybe my full moon and new moon, because I can't remember what I used for those, to be honest was this my Meraki tarot I still have to fill in a few things um from, from from January but I pretty much used my Meraki the whole month I used it for my weekly spreads I used it for my daily pulls 
I think I may have even used it for my full moon, to be honest with you. I used this deck a lot in January, and I really enjoyed it. Now, I, for, I, I okay, so I used the cards, obviously, and I used these keyword cards that came with the deck, which are awesome. Now, I didn't really use the guidebook much, I'll be honest, because I kind of didn't want to be overwhelmed, and I was having a really rough month. I've been having a really rough month as I'm filming the last day of January. And so I just stuck to this for the most part. So I was still doing tarot, but not making it overwhelming tarot. And whenever I needed an oracle card for like my weekly and things like that, I used my um, Radiant Crystal deck, which oh, I think I already put it away. Hold on real quick and I'm going to get that. It's in this beautiful blue bag that I recently got from Artisan Tarot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, this is from Bouchette Designs and I use this as my Oracle deck this month. It was really nice because it was really to the point. I had my crystal, the name of it, a picture of it, and like three clarifying words for it. And then if I wanted more, I had more time, I read the back and did that. But I really enjoyed working with this deck. And of course, they're by the same creator, Bouchette Designs. So they were a perfect match. And I do, like, this is my crystal deck. I do have like a couple, or no, I think I have one other one, but it's not as many cards. But this is like my crystal deck. So those will be going away. And what we will be using for... Oh, one last thing before we talk about what we're going to use this month. Again, a beautiful artisan tarot bag. This is the Wanderlust deck that came in a tuck box. So I transferred it into this beautiful bag. And this is also from Bouchette Designs. So what's cool, let me take out the beginning card. So we have numerology and then all the elements. And then you get all your Sabbaths. You get numerology. You get all your moon cycles. You get all your full moons for the year. You get all your astrology signs for the year. And they all have info on the back of them. They're really, really great. So for your Sabbaths, you get the dates on the back. For your full moons, you don't because they change every year a little bit. But I put them in order for this year. And then, of course, you get these are the astrology signs, which are really cool. You get some keywords and you get the dates on the back. And then you also have color with everything has keywords in the front and then more info on the back. So it's like almost like a book, but it's really condensed which I'm really loving. So what I did was that, which I'm going to regret this later. Hold your drinks, everybody. Over here on my desk, I have this little stand from Etsy and I just put some candles and a selenite tower and I put out, um, so I have in bulk because in bulk is like literally like starting and I have Aquarius because we're now in Aquarius season. And then I have the snow moon. Yeah, it's the snow moon because that will be the full moon for February. So I just changed them out yesterday. I had some time, so I did that. So that's what I did. Now let's get you back where you belong. And then the one last thing that I did, which is this is why I was saying I have to pull out my Meraki for one more little sesh or no not my meraki well i have to fill out some stuff in my ritual planner which by the way that will be linked down below if you want to support me use my link and you will also save on the ritual planner or anything off their website um i made these after lisa did a video of making these so i started but i haven't finished journaling about them but i did start it 
So this is like financial and I have it all listed. I think I'm going to make a video and show you guys how I do the February one this weekend. But these are all the decks that I used. Actually, this is the other crystal deck that I was saying that I have is this one. So this is crystals, uh, crystallary, uh, herbalary, and I forget what that one's called. But they're the three pack that I have together. And this is the thicker cardstock with the small box set. Um, I got a blank one for my love reading. <laughs> nothing's happening in that department my love reading and i believe this was spiritual but i can't remember i have it written down and then these are threads of fate this is the oracle and the tarot so i got the nine of coins and sacred sexuality and then a tarot card like a regular tarot card so this is a beautiful card this is the um something dreams i can't remember it somebody say it down below but i decided i don't use this deck a lot but i love it because it has keywords and stuff on it as well as the astrology and different symbols on it so i thought it'd be a good one for me to put away in these cards i picked decks for this that i didn't i'm not using right away or i want to get more use out of i believe i did a video about putting these together so that was my January cards. So I think I'm going to make a video showing you guys my February cards, which is this. So this is my February one. I think I didn't have stickers on them at the end of that video. So I did that afterwards because I just needed a little something. And I have all these stickers and nothing to do with them. So I decided to use them for this. So I did that. Um, so yeah, I basically used my Meraki for January. So now flipping things over to February of 2024, the main deck I want to use is this one. This is the Jamie Sawyer Re RWS Redux Edition, and this is a Moonlight Fay bag. Beautiful. So this is an RWS deck. You can see how they match. I've not edged it. I got this when she first came out with it. Like, after she did it through Make Playing Cards. Or, no, she did it on her website first. But, at first, she had it through Make Playing Cards. And, I ordered it that way. And, then, she quickly changed it. And, I don't think she has many copies left. And, she's not reprinting from what I understand. So, if you're interested in this deck, you better check out her website. So, this is the main deck I want to use. Because, I really do want to work on my tarot studies. And I want to get to know the cards even more than I do. And the ones that I'm still having a hard time with, I really want to try to learn. So I figured this would be a good way for me to do this. Is use these as my daily, daily card pull draws. So that's what I plan to do with that. And when I'm looking for the keywords and the information to go with this deck, what I'm going to use is shocking to everybody. Probably not, but Ugh, let me get this behemoth out. I got this bad boy, the story of the world's most popular tarot, the tarot of A.E. Waite and P. Coleman Smith by Tashin. So I'm not going to use the deck that's in here because this really is my favorite RWS deck is this one, but I'm going to use the book. Because it has daily, it has like these keyword sections and it actually has daily draw for that. And then also if I have the time or the energy, I can watch, I can read more in depth about each card. Because there's an amazing full colored guidebook, which I do, I am showing in one of my other videos. I'm not sure, not sure which one's coming first. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a full walkthrough of this because there's already a few out there. If you want me to, I will definitely do it. So leave a comment down below. So that's going to be my main deck for February. And then what we're going to do is my last Christmas present from my bestie came in. I already had this bag like from a while ago. From a, It's a Peggy bag and I knew it would match in bulk perfectly. So my in bulk finally came in. 
So I'm excited to use this for my weekly spreads or any other spread that I plan to use. You know, I'm not saying I'm not going to pull out another deck that I'm interested in using if I feel like it goes with a specific spread and the energy of that spread. I'm always going to allow myself room to do that because I have so many decks and I want to use them. But this is the in bulk one. It's beautiful. And it's very blue. And so what I realized is I almost... Well, this bo this deck was actually in my purgatory box. It wasn't almost gone, but it was in my purgatory box. Because I have two colorways of this deck. I have this darker blue bronzed one. And then I have one that's more like golden color. So this is the Lucene Tarot. This is the Midnight Edition. And then there's the other one. I can never remember the names of them. But it's by Lisa Santine. These were her second and third deck that she came out with i do have her first one with the like the pink and the rose gold and it has all the keywords on it and i had this in two colorways so i was gonna get rid of it because i really wish she would have also did keywords on this because that was one of the things i love so much about her first deck was the keywords and i know i have the oracle that matches the first one and i feel like it matches the other colorway of this one more that's why i was keeping the other one and now she just came out with another deck the kickstarter is over and people are starting to get them i think and it's all flowery and pretty but not just pink and i am like almost want to get it but i didn't put it on my list of decks that i want to get this year so maybe next year i just i want to get more comfortable with pips before I indulge in another one of her decks. But for the meantime, I thought that this matched my in-bulk deck in color-wise and energy really, really well. So let's just give it a little go so you guys can see. Now, this deck does not come with the guidebook. I believe there was an online something, so I'd have to go back and find it. But I have enough guidebooks, you know, I can make it work. But look at that bronze. I'm sure I've walked through these decks somewhere on my channel from when I got them in from Kickstarter. And I got the scarves that match both. And originally I had them in the scarf, in the bag. But then I took the bags from them and put other things in them. And what I decided is, you know what? I love, they're still in the box. And then I wrapped them in this beautiful silk cloth. So I'm just going to keep wrapping them in the cloth and not put them in a bag. Because they look so good just like that. And it just feels fancy to me. And these decks feel fancy to me. Lisa Santine just has this air of her decks that just feel fancy. So let's take a little bit of a closer look. So you guys can really see what I'm talking about. So this is the decks. And I think that they go really well together. I haven't read with them yet, but I plan to. Obviously, I'm going to use them for my weekly. I haven't done my weekly yet. I'm probably going to do it today or tomorrow. I know I'm like already halfway through the week, but it is what it is. But I think like artistically wise, they really match. And I think the colors go really well. And even though there are some people in this deck, not many, but there's a few. There's not really faces if you look really closely. Oh, is that zoom gonna work well anyway there's not really good facial views of them and so i thought but they're quite quite round so i feel like they are similar a little bit to this especially the old artists that used to do these decks very similar to her style but i just think that like the gold and the blues it matches really really well so I definitely plan to use these together for my weeklies and maybe for my full moon, my wolf moon, right? It's, or snow moon. Sorry, it's snow moon in February. Snow moon. So I definitely think I will use these for my snow moon. But yeah, so that's what I plan to do for February. I plan to really use my RWS deck by Jamie Sawyer. And this one by Lisa Santine and the In Bulk Oracle by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. 
if you have any other questions, leave them down below or other suggestions of decks I may have that I could pull out for something special this month. Let me know. But for now, these are kind of what I'm doing. And yeah, so that's what we're doing for February. That is our decks on our desk. I really enjoyed slimming things down in January. Then I didn't even use all those. So I think I'm slimming things even more down in February and seeing how that goes. Because I think it's meant, I always want to have a big selection of decks out, but then I don't even use them or I get overwhelmed by what I have out. So I think by really slimming it down to like two decks and two oracles or what something similar to that, then it will be better for me in the long run because I won't get so overwhelmed. And then I can pick out something special by the special spread. Where if I just have a few like two or three decks out, it's not as overwhelming for me. And then I think I'm enjoying my decks more. Like I know I have a few decks that have already came in January and some that are coming in February. And I'm really excited for those. But I also know that like I need to take a step back just because it's new and it came in came in doesn't mean I have to use it right away. I can still have out what I plan to use and use those. So that's that. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And check out my link for Ritual Planner. And yeah, I'll see you here at TarotTube, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. Bye, guys.